Earlier in the year, Sir Michael Fallon delivered a, a groundbreaking report recommending that we have increased levels of, uh, of local content in the, the development of our offshore wind farms. Now, I would say um, in the Tees Valley area, we're particularly uh, well equipped to deliver significant local content, particularly across our real strengths in fabrication and the, uh, the cabling part of the offshore wind farm. And we want to understand how Sir Michael's ideas might have been furthered over the past uh, six months or so. I think the, the local content commissioner is an absolutely excellent idea. You know, at the end of the day, we're often quoting these numbers of 50%. But what we want to see is that we've got absolutely genuine local content. I mean, look us around here at Subsea Innovation. It's a fantastic facility. These are real local jobs. This is what I would call real local content. The taxpayers putting up a lot of money as part of the support for renewables and for offshore wind, we need to be sure that more of that money comes back into the British economy, to British companies, and is therefore inside UK content. And we want to see that content measured better, independently verified, and a higher target. At the moment it's 50%, we think it should now be 60%. That's what industry wants to see. The idea of putting a commissioner in charge of ensuring that local content is actually measured correctly. With somebody like that in place, I think that's absolutely fantastic. We're growing in the offshore wind sector and we need to develop a parallel technology development and make the northeast of England a centre of excellence on the back of that local content. And all I see is lots of good technology, good engineering businesses that have got a lot more capability than we're giving them credit for. This was about how we reinforce the success of this industry. We've already now got the Minister guaranteeing regular auctions so there is a clearer timetable for industry to be able to invest and to reinforce its supply chain and what we now need to see is more uh, verifiable UK content in return for taxpayer support.